Apama Dena or heedfulness, which is Dhammapada verse 23, yeah, means a mind that is ever mindful without thought. It is to cultivate the meditation as taught by the Buddha following Dhammapada verse 23. It is just like a relaxed inner awareness that is always aware and without thought to see things as they are, to see reality or the truth within all mental, physical, and nature's phenomena. So if you compare this with J. Krishnamurti's daily quote, it's exactly the same, it match. Meditation is to have a mind that can act this way, that can see without the observer. Only the meditative mind can do this. Uh, uh, you go back to that quote I read. Uh, I read uh. So meditation means what? Means to have a mind acting in daily life that is capable of seeing without the observer, without the center, the actor. So this is heedfulness, awareness. Ever mindful, without thought. So meditation is not something apart or away from daily life. It concerns the whole of life. So exactly the same as what the Buddha's definition of apamada or heedfulness. So heedfulness means a mind that is ever mindful, without thought, within, to cultivate the meditation as taught by the Buddha following the Mahapada verse 23, means daily mindfulness. So it is just like a relaxed inner awareness that is always aware and without thought to see things as they are, means without the observer, just an awareness yeah, that is always aware and without thought to see things as they are, means the direct seeing, the silent mind, the meditative mind that is constantly aware, ever mindful. That is what meditation is all about, not what you think. Not all the sitting, nothing, walking, and all the stuff. That, that is just training to be aware, to be mindful. It's just some exercises. Uh, these are all instructions to do things. They are not the meditation. The real meditation only begins when you are heedful, when you are mindful, when you are able to develop the stability of daily mindfulness. Sati Sampajana. Uh, not until you reach step four, the initial wisdom develop, then you can move into step five, which is Sati Sampajana of the Abhija Sutta. Mindfulness and clear comprehension in the midst of life. Uh, only at step four and five, the real meditation begins. Uh, before that is all just training of the mind. And developing all the basic foundation to arise the meditative mind. And so now you will start to understand my sharing. One by one, they will become very clear. And then its meaning is very deep. Then when you understand, there is a lot of joy. Then meditation become very simple, nothing complicated, nothing esoteric. Then all those gullible things that people used to do and teach, you will never do anymore. Because the moment you see, you understand this is not meditation. This is all, still all the method technique and all the thought based doing, no understanding of what meditation is. That's why despite what has been taught over the past 2000 over years, what has been passed down. Do you realize one trend or not? There are less and less enlightened beings as the process happens. If it is still the authentic right teaching, which is very important, there should be a lot of enlightened beings in there. How come there are less and less? Because the commentary, the interpretation, they have debated. The true teaching is difficult to come by nowadays. So all this understanding, when you understand them, when it starts to unfold in you through your own cultivation, you will see the big difference. Then you will progress very fast. 
and then you will train your mind to be hateful and become different. Okay? Then your sada, virya, sati will drive you. Then you will persevere and you will just do it. Okay? 